And does it open? Yes, awesome, finally. So what's in the spaceship? We have another cons console thing and an organ suite. Anyway, what does this thing do? We have five sliders and a lever. The sliders apparently change musical pitch and the lever plays all the notes. This is the infamous music puzzle of Myst. Um, it's not really, I don't think it's personally it's a really good idea if they put a music puzzle into this game because for those that are good at music, this kind of thing is too easy, but for almost everyone else, it's really frustrating. I mean, me personally, I actually, I'm good at music. This is fine. I mean, I even have perfect pitch, so it takes me about 15 seconds to do this, and I don't even need a keyboard for reference. But for this video, I'm going to go ahead and explain a method, a possible strategy you might use to solve this, even if you aren't good at music and you don't have any real sense of pitch or anything. So if you're good at this kind of thing, or if you're just not interested or whatever, um, you might as well just skip ahead, because this might take a while. But even though this explanation might take some time, I expect it wouldn't take too long in practice. The solution to this thing was written in the journal we just read in the library. It should appear on your screen about now. I mean, I can't see it, but I'll put it in the video at some point. So how do we do something like this? Well, first of all, I would presume this bottom note on the slider here is the same note as the bottom note on the keyboard. I mean, it sounds the same, right? Well, if you're not good in music, maybe you think it's just close, maybe not the same. If you're not sure, just think it would be really cruel if the creators had the two no bottom notes different. So we're just gonna go ahead and assume that, um, that they're the same. Now, if you're totally deaf, then you're just going to have to take a leap of faith on that point. But fortunately, you would be right. And actually, I know it's possible to do this if you're deaf, because I've solved this puzzle myself before with the speakers turned off. But I'm going to assume that you're not deaf because you can hear me. So how are we going to go about this? Um, there's a couple different methods. One way is some people just ignore the music entirely and just count half steps. A half step is the smallest distance between two notes. So they would just, you know, go through the combination, say like, oh, the first one is seven half steps up from the bottom. So you go from the bottom, you just count, you know, one, two, three. See, the sliders get kind of slippery there. So this isn't a fail-proof method because it's easy to miscount and the sliders might do something funky. The other way is to do what you're actually supposed to do and go back and forth, play the note over there, try to put it in there. But Obviously, there's still going to be a problem if you don't have a good ear. So, whether you use the counting half steps method or you actually try to do this by ear, either way, you are liable to make mistakes. So, what I'm gonna what I'm gonna suggest here is not so much a method for getting the right notes, but for verifying along the way that at least you're on the right track. So, how would I approach this? Uh, you could you could obviously do the notes in order but you don't have to. For example, look at the fourth note in the, in the combination. Um, it's this note, right? It is the white key just to the left of this set of three black keys. It's an F, okay? That's its name. I mean, even if you didn't know that, you could still follow this logic, just calling it the white key on the left side of the three black keys, but I'll just keep calling it by its proper name, F, for convenience. So, the bottom note here is also an F, right? Because it's the white key right before a set of three. So the fourth note shares something in common with the bottom note. The bottom note is where the sliders already are. So, perhaps you don't have a good ear for music, and maybe you don't know anything about harmony either. But even so, wouldn't it at least make sense that a note would sound good with itself? This is an F, this is an F. So they might actually not clash with each other, right? So what I would do is go ahead and put the fourth note in first. I'd go over here and with by whatever means possible, put in the fourth one first. And so let's say that 
you know, you say you matched it up, counted or whatever, and that was your answer. And you tried this to verify, because these are all going to play Fs. You know these are Fs, so if you think that might be an F... See, that sounds terrible. Okay, so you would know that this is wrong. And, you know, it was actually too high. You may not know that it was too high, but this is what it sounds like if it's too low. Again, you may not know whether it's too low or too high, but at least you know you're off and you still need to fudge with it before moving on to any of the others. When it sounds... There. This is what it sounds like when it's right. See? That actually... That actually works. Um, and so we know that this note is correct. We don't have to mess with it anymore. We can be 100% positive that this note is correct. So let's move on to another one. I would actually suggest going ahead and doing the second and third notes together. Because if you counted half steps just from scratch, you'd have to count 19 and 22 half steps respectively. Yuck. But since we have this one as a benchmark, we can actually just go ahead and slide these up here. You see, you can actually even see visually that they line up. And then we can play it again to confirm that they're playing the same note. Perfect. See? So now we've brought each of these sliders 12 half steps closer, and we really didn't have to do anything. Work smart, not hard, right? But we can do better, actually. Um, right now, the middle three sliders are all on this note. We want to get the second slider here and the third slider here. But what if we overshoot it? We already used a method to gain one octave from here to here. Why don't we just do it again? We can get the sliders up to this F. It's overshooting it, but jumping up a whole octave and counting down just two notes might actually be faster. So again, whether you count 12 half steps or try to listen to it, and if you're off, it's gonna sound bad again. See? So you would know you need to adjust it again. But when it's right, that sounds much better to my ears. Um, the next step would be, I would actually bring this one even with that one before adjusting that one. And you'll see why here. See, that still sounds fine. We haven't actually brought in any other notes yet. They're still all Fs. And because of that, we know that we have not Fed this up yet. Did I hear something? Anyway, so now if we're going to deviate from that and bring this down two half steps, that sounds easy, but watch what happens even if I don't move the mouse. Watch what happens when I click on this. See how the note changed? I didn't even move the mouse. Uh, it's, it's a defect in their, in their slider system, but every time I click on it, it keeps going lower. So I would have lost this note that I worked so hard for had I not brought the other one up even with it as a benchmark. But now I can just pull back even with this one and count my two half steps. See, I only needed to count to two, and it's done. That note is right. So now I need to bring this one. See, it's going to keep slipping. Uh, I need to bring it even with that one and go down three half steps as per the combination. Just go one, two, three. So now all three of the middle sliders, the highest ones, the most challenging ones, they're all correct. So now we only have to do the two outer ones. At this point, those numbers, those notes are actually low enough to where you could just count half steps. Um, but if you wanted to do a little bit more with the music, you could, uh, for example, the first uh, note of the combination is this, and the second one is this. And they're not Fs, they're both Cs. They're the white key before the set of two black notes. So you could actually use this note to confirm you get the first note right, because we already have that one. So, I mean, you could do it this way or not. It doesn't really matter. Just whatever's easiest for you. But this note and this note will not clash. And... So now we have the first four, and we are, this is the only one we got left, and we only have to move it five half steps.
And that should do it. So I hope that helps. Like I said before, I do this puzzle differently, so I don't even know if this method is effective. It would suck if it didn't help anybody and I just wasted everyone's time. Anyway, back to the game. We now have not a book, but a picture of a book on the screen. That's kind of ghetto. Well, no, it's actually kind of high tech. Except for the analog flicker of the 20th century that we really don't see much of anymore. Anyway, this is a flyby of the Selenitic Age, that which we have been looking for, so let's go.